Hello everyone, I'm Aurora and welcome to my woods. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to give in uh, injectable medications and oral medications to a snake, specifically a boa constrictor. Now uh, this snake that I'm holding right here is not the sick one, she's just for show <laughs> for the uh, beginning of this video. Uh, but I will be demonstrating how to set up the medications and then how to give them to your snake. Now this is already assuming that you've been to the vet, uh, you've probably already been uh, given an idea of how to go about giving the injections, but this might make it a little bit easier for you to see hands-on uh, how to go about doing that. So I'm going to put this little girl back and then I will uh, show you how to set up the medicine and then we'll give it to Desert Ross, my sick bow constrictor. Okay, so we've got our clean surface, our clean hands, and our medicine. So we're going to start with the oral medication. And this is an anti-inflammatory medicine from my vet, of course. And uh, this is the syringe that I'm going to use to pull up the medicine uh, to the appropriate amount based on the snake's weight. So I need to get 3.4 milliliters for Desert Ross. Now, snakes typically don't get sick very often. They're not like a dog or a cat that's going to need to go see the vet for shots and things like that. They only get sick when there's something wrong in their environment, and Desert Ross has a big lump on his nose from some cage rubbing activity because he really wanted to get to a female that was uh, ready for him. <laughs> so he very desperately wanted to get out of his cage and get to her and because I have them in a small room to heat them properly in the winter, uh, my living situation isn't ideal right now, uh, he was doing a lot of cage pushing and uh, I, I could not really separate them. So I actually put them together. They may have bred. So he was happy. He stopped pushing. But when he was done breeding, he got uh, a growth on his nose. So thankfully, um, it looks like it is going down with the medicine. So that's great. Now you see what I did here is I pulled up the medicine and then I put the uh, stopper back on the end because we're going to set that aside until we need it for him. So next up is the injectable antibiotic. So now this was given to me all set up already because my vet is awesome. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is open this up and turn it around and there is an air bubble in there. I don't know if it's going to pick up very well on the screen, but I want to kind of tap it a little bit, make sure any air gets up there as much as possible. And I'm going to squeeze it very, very gently. I'm not showing this on the screen, am I? <laughs> uh, I'm going to squeeze it very gently. And I need to put a little bit more pressure on it, but I don't want to squeeze it too hard because I don't want to lose any of the medicine. There we go. So there was a little bit up in the end, but I don't know if you can see, it's slowly kind of going up to the top, and I want to get it all the way up until it just starts to come up the top. There we go. So. You can see the drip up in the top of the needle. So we're going to tap that off and then recap it so it's ready to go for the snake. Now with my medicine set aside we're good to go and I'm going to go get Desert Ross. And this beautiful boy is Desert Ross. Now Desert Ross is a hypo sonoran boa constrictor. He is about as big as he's going to get. Uh, he's probably four feet long, and uh, as you can see, he's got a big old bump on his nose. Look at that poor baby. Big schnoz. Oh, sweet boy. He looks so uncomfortable. But the swelling has gone down a little bit, and uh, I am hoping that the antibiotics uh, will help that as well. But if the swelling doesn't go down, he's going to need minor surgery to get that lump removed because uh, pus in snakes is solid, it's not liquid. So uh, their systems just work a little bit differently than ours. Yush, blip, blip, blip. He's a pretty boy. Uh, now I will demonstrate how to give a snake antibiotic shots.
Now you want to make sure that the snake is supported, and he's checking out the camera there. <laughs> and you will be in administering the shot in the first third of the snake's body. You want to stay away from uh, their more vital organs, so stick to the first third. And we're going to be injecting under the scale at a 45 degree angle uh, on the side of the spine. So the spine's right down the middle, and we're going to go into the muscle on either side of the spine and you want to alternate uh, sides so keep track. Now the first thing that you want to do is clean the spot that we're going to do the injection. Now you want to inject on either side of the spine into the muscle. It's an intramuscular injection of antibiotics. So I'm going to take a little bit of this paper towel, a little bit of, I should have done that on camera, of just the hand sanitizer onto the paper towel, and then just rub the place that we're going to do the injection. I'm just going to choose this spot right here. Now the spot is clean and ready for you to give the shot. Since we've got everything ready to go, I'm just going to pop the end off. And we're going to just kind of uh, you, you'll put the, uh, you'll see on the needle itself, there is, let's see if it'll pick it up, there is a slight, it's a, there's a slight taper to it, and you want the longer part to be on the bottom. So that's going to be the first part that goes into the snake. So we're going to just find a spot right here, go onto the scale. Go into the muscle, inject, and Desert Ross is a good boy. And we're done. Recap the medicine. And we're good to go. Now that the injections are done, it's time to move on to oral medication. This is the fun part. <laughs> this part's a little bit more difficult, especially for uh, somebody who's never really looked in a snake's mouth before. <laughs> I've done this a few times now, so uh, I've got the hang of it, but it is a little bit tricky, so I'll, I'll try to give you a good idea of how to go about it. Um, it is best done if you've got a second person who can help hold the snake. I do not. so. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, first you want to start by holding the snake behind the head gently, but not uh, closing off his throat. So actually I'm going to turn him around and hold him from the back of his head, like so. And we've got our medication handy. It's all set up for us. So I just pop the end off. And this is the tricky part, is you want to make sure it goes into his mouth through the little hole in the front of his mouth where his tongue flicks out. Now you want to make sure that you do not go down the glottis, which is how they breathe. So you'll see a little bit of a tube in there. Avoid that. Try to follow the roof of the snake's mouth without scraping it. So you want to kind of hold him gently behind the jaws so his throat is open. And then just kind of tease his mouth open with the syringe. Come on, buddy. Last time we got to do this. And then I'm just kind of following down. And you can see he's opening his mouth. I want to get it down as far the back, there we go, as I can, and I'm just going to let it go, and pull it out, and then we have to hold his head upright so he swallows it. Now this can take a little while, and I'm watching his throat, because he will probably try to spit it back out a little bit, because it's really not tasty stuff. <laughs> Actually, the first time I gave it to him, he stuck his tongue out to the side, and he bit it, and it was bleeding a little bit, and I felt so bad for him. 
but uh, this time he's taking it like an absolute champ. So, what a good boy. <laughs> um, he also needs extra soaking when he's taking his medication because uh, he, it dehydrates them a little bit. So we want to make sure he stays really well hydrated. Look at this good snake. I think he's figured out that if he doesn't swallow it, that it's uh, not a fun time. <laughs> These dwarf boas are incredible pets. I highly recommend them. They have a lot of personality and uh, they're just all around great guys. <laughs> And now he's starting to swallow it a little bit. It took a while. He always still kind of wants to stay that position. I'm kind of drinking it down there. Yeah. What a good boy. I've turned him around and I'm helping him get the rest of it down here. Because it is pretty sticky stuff. You can see how he's keeping his head tilted even without me helping him. Uh, just to help that slide down his throat. And that's good. Went down his throat. Nothing ended up in his lungs. So we're good to put him back into his cage. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful or at least interesting. I'm going to put Desert Ross back in his cage now and uh, hope you have a good day.